Today we will be looking at the different ways you can solve for inverses. Inverse problems are common within the average math classroom and can be used to graph functions that are symmetrical to one, of one another over the function y equals x. First off, we will begin by solving for inverses algebraically. Our sample problem will be y equals 3x plus 4. The first step is to switch the x and y variables so that now we are solving for y instead of x. This problem will now be transformed to x equals 3y plus 4. We then subtract 4 from either side so that we have x minus 4 equals 3y. And finally, we divide 3 from either side to get x minus 4 over 3 equals y. This is the inverse to y equals 3x plus 4. Now we will show you how to check a fun pardon. Now we will show you how to check if a function's inverse by using g of f of x. For this problem, we will have g equal 3x plus 4 and f equal its inverse which is x minus 4 over 3. And this is our problem here, g of f of x. When you write this out, you will have 3, and then in parentheses, x minus 4 over 3 plus 4. Now, as you can see, the x variable in g is replaced with the function of f, while the x variable in f remains the same. Keep in mind that it does not matter what number or variable is in place of the x in g of f of x, as long as the two functions cancel out, leaving behind only the number or variable in place of x. As long as they cancel out, you will know that the two functions are inverse. And in this case, they are. As you can th see, we have 3 and 3 again, both canceling out, 3 times 3, 3 divided by 3. And then we have a negative 4 and a positive 4 that also cancel out, leaving behind only this x variable. Finally, we will show you how to graphically solve for inverses. As you can see by the graph drawn by my partner here, the two functions are inverse because they are reflections of one another reflected over the function of y equals x. When you want to write out an inverse function of a pre-existing function, remember that in order for it to be inverse, y must equal x, meaning that the x and y points must be flipped. For example, if I have graphed y equals 3x plus 4, and I want to find its inverse function, I simply flip the x and y points, and voila, I have my inverse. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> now, here are some sample problems to try. Pause the video and solve each problem. When you are done, unpause the video to reveal the answers. Whoa! Really? <sighs> Here are the answers. Did you get them right? If there are any problem, if there are any problems you are struggling with, either rewind the video or try to find some practice problems online. I hope this video has provided you with some useful information.